rise to the dark spawn. Countless in number and toxic to all life, dark spawn search endlessly for an archdemon. When they find one, dark spawn armies surge up from their corrupt barrows beneath the ground, and a blight begins. Grey Wardens are the only warriors capable of destroying an archdemon, and history always honors the one who sacrifices all to kill the beast. In the fifth blight, the Warden was the hero of Ferelden, a mage living in the Circle Tower at Lake Kalanad. Drawn into an escape plot by another mage, the hero became snared in the Circle's dangerous politics. Duncan, a Grey Warden, helped the mage escape to a new life as a Warden. The allied Ferelden and Grey Warden forces met in Ostagar, where King Kalen's armies and a host of Wardens gathered ready to destroy the Darkspawn. But Valor turned to despair as Logain betrayed his king. Kaelin's forces were slaughtered and the South was lost. The hero, now a full-fledged Grey Warden, survived with the aid of Flemeth, the mysterious Witch of the Wilds. Joined by Flemeth's daughter, Morrigan, and a Grey Warden named Alistair, the hero set out to build an army strong enough to abolish the Blight. With the traitorous Loghain now seated on Ferelden's throne, the Warden sought help from the influential Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. However, they arrived in Redcliffe to find the town under siege, as each night, undead rose in waves and assailed the battered village. With the hero's help, the people of Redcliffe stood fast against the undead horde. The Wardens reached Arl Eamon's castle only to find the Arl lying at the edge of death and his court fallen into madness. To save his father's life, Eamon's young son, Connor, had made a deal with a demon and quickly fallen victim to its possession. The hero intervened, freeing Connor from possession and breaking the demon's hold over Redcliffe. But deals with demons are never straightforward. The demon agreed only to save Eamon's life, not restore him to health. Arl Eamon needed a miracle to recover. The hero located an urn containing the sacred ashes of Andraste, which were said to cure any ailment. The urn was protected by ancient traps, tests of will, and a dragon-worshipping cult that wanted to twist the urn's power to its own ends. The urn remained pure, but mysteriously disappeared after the Wardens departed. Only the temple dedicated to it still stands. With a pinch of the ashes, the hero restored the Arl to health. Informed of Loghain's treachery, Eamon swore his political and military support. The circles of Magi are bound by oath to aid the Grey Wardens in times of blight. However, Lake Kalanad's tower could offer little help. One of its mages, Uldred, had become possessed by a pride demon and was twisting other circle mages into abominations. The hero fought to the top of the tower and defeated Uldred, saving the remaining mages. Grateful for their lives, the mages joined the warden's army. The allies gained at the circle were not the only soldiers to join the warden's forces, however. Dalish elves don't usually make alliances, but even deep hatred can be set aside in the face of oblivion. An ancient curse was destroying Ferelden's largest Dalish clans, turning the elves into werewolves. Zathrian, the clan's keeper, claimed that the cure required the heart of the great wolf, Witherfang. Years before, Zathrain himself had afflicted a group of humans with the curse that now ravaged his clan. As long as he lived, the curse endured. Swayed by the pleas of the Lady of the Forest, the hero eliminated the Dalish and gained the werewolves as allies. Blights may happen hundreds of years apart, but the dwarves who live below the surface of Thetis fight Darkspawn every day. No one is better schooled in battling Darkspawn than the warriors of Orzammar. Except perhaps their allies of old, the Grey Wardens. The hero arrived in Orzammar in the wake of King Endrin's death to find political factions fighting for control of the dwarven capital. Only the vote of a venerated.
excited paragon come break the deadlock to elect a ruler and order the dwarves to honor their Grey Warden treaty and join the battle against the new blight. The hero set off to find a paragon named Branca, who had disappeared into the deep roads in search of a legendary artifact, the Anvil of the Void, created by the renowned smith Caradon to forge mighty war golems. The hero helped Caradon destroy the Anvil of the Void, along with the dark secrets that could trap a living soul inside a mechanical construct. The hero emerged from the deep roads with a master-forged crown to bestow the Paragon's favor upon whichever rival candidate would be crowned king. Balin, the youngest son of King Andrin, who was suspected of foul play, or Haramont, the aging traditionalist backed by the Dwarven Assembly. Balin followed his father to the throne. He leads with a ruthless but progressive hand, seeking to re-establish ties to the surface kingdoms. With Dwarden's strength now bolstering the Warden's army, the hero had to deal with Logain so Ferelden could stand unified against the Darkspawn before the Blight swallowed the world. The kingdom of Ferelden stood divided. While some nobles supported Logain's regency, others condemned his inaction against the Darkspawn. Civil war brewed, and Arl Eamon called a landsmeet in hopes of curtailing the conflict and removing Loghain from the throne. Alastair ended Loghain's life in the name of justice for the Wardens who died at Ostagar. As the Wardens' united army massed in Redcliffe, the Darkspawn overran Denerim, laying siege to Ferelden's capital city. The hero's army fought valiantly through Denerim and broke the Darkspawn siege. On Fort Dracon's highest tower, the hero's strongest allies fought alongside the Warden in a final heroic battle against the massive Archdemon. The Archdemon was killed without the sacrifice of a Grey Warden's life. With no Archdemon to lead them, the Darkspawn scattered. Most fled underground, still teeming in number and always seeking a new Archdemon to awaken. The shattered kingdom of Ferelden embarked on a long journey to recovery. In the Blight's aftermath, strong leadership was crucial. Alistair, half-brother to King Caelan, became Ferelden's new king, and the line of rulers who descended from Kalanad the Great remained unbroken. Ferelden still stands, as obstinate and resolute as the Dog Lords ever are, but the events of the Fifth Blight loom over it as the nation rebuilds. For people across Thetis, legends of the hero of Ferelden remain the nation's brightest beacons of hope during its darkest times.